anticipation is growing for the 100th edition of the Phasic Tipton Saratoga Sale and the many fireworks it is sure to bring. The first crop from Triple Crown winner Justify is expected to be a highlight of the showcase, so we took a look at a few of his yearlings slated to go through the ring in just a few days. The thing about Justify, when you look at him, he was everything he did it was with ease. He was very athletic horse, and as big as he was, uh, he was a horse that covered the ground very easily, a very good, efficient, fluid mover, uh, obviously with a, a huge turn of foot. He had the stamina to, to, uh, to last the one and a half miles of the Belmont, but also a horse that was, was able to, was good over just over a mile as well. So, you know, he had the speed, he's got the stamina, the quality, he's got every single attribute you would uh, hope to have. And, and he's a great embodiment of what Scat Daddy was. He's a, a horse that was obviously brilliant on the racetrack and he's been brilliant now at Stud as well. Um, the quality of mares that he's covered has been second to none, as I mentioned. He covered over 70 grade one winners or producers in his first book. And the quality really hasn't changed uh, in the subsequent two books. He's, he's been a horse that's been very, very well received from the moment he set foot here. And we're now getting ready to see that in the, as the sales start. Uh, he's got 14 nominated to the select sale in Saratoga. And they are, as you'd imagine, um, from some stellar pedigrees. You know, the one out of a, appealing Zofi. Lovely horse, a half to tap it. it. Stands over a lot of ground. Very, very good mover. Very athletic. You look at look at him move. He's uh, he he really does fill the eye. He's got a great, great way about him. Great presence. Lovely looking horse. You'll see this as, as we were only just getting going now with the uh, yearling sales. But these pedigrees are replete with, quali with quality, which is what you'd expect uh, for a horse of Justify's caliber and quality. Yeah, we're really lucky to have this year a Justify filly out of Easter Lily. She's hip number 83 going to Saratoga, and uh, she's a big, strong, beautiful filly like so many of the Justifies have been. A lot of leg, great scope, good length of back, good hip, good shoulder. This filly is one of a kind at Saratoga, out of a Galileo mare by Justify. The mayor's a stakes winner. The family is a very strong female family. She's quite lovely. All the great ingredients that Justify would give a horse. One thing that I find with all the Justifies is their size and scope. And they all have the great walk. They all have a big shoulder that their father has. But size and scope, and you know, there will really be a great kind of classic type horse for American racing. I think a lot of the justifies are very are quite different. You know, the, you, yes, there's a type. They tend to be a very good size. They tend to be very easy movers, generally correct, but they are quite different. It's it's a trait of the Scat Daddy line that he, I'm not saying I wouldn't say he didn't stamp the horses, but they are all different. I mean, we stand three sons of Scat Daddy here: Justify, Caravaggio, and Mendelssohn, and three of them are exceptionally different in in every different way. You know, so to say that. They're, they're all very athletic horses, good-looking horses, uh, but I, won't, I don't think you'll find one particular type of horse. His first crop of wheelings sold exceptionally well. They averaged just over 380,000 with a, a top price of 600,000. So, you know, the market is, is obviously judging them very, very well, and hopefully we'll see some fireworks in the next few weeks. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe for more content from the TDN.